What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. There's so much to cover in today's episode. We're going to be going... I, Twitter's just been blowing up about the bronze pack method, the squad builder challenge method that I'm using to get players and stuff like that. Just the whole series is getting so much attention and so much love that there's just, just, there's just so much I need to cover in this episode. So I'm actually not streaming right now. I chose to get a proper like YouTube specific episode out for you guys so I can cover so many different topics. I actually have all the topics that I want to cover all written down on this piece of paper to make sure I don't miss anything. And before we get into it, there's a few things I want to cover as well. First of all, thank you for the support on the series. This series is getting the most support any series has ever gotten on my channel. And it's been like that for the last few years. I think you guys just love this type of a series because most of you don't spend money on the game and you want to know how to build up a good club, get a lot of coins, get some good players, and hopefully succeed in Ultimate Team without having to spend your spare money or your, your birthday money or your whatever type of money. So I think that's why this series does so well. So again, just thank you so much for the support. This isn't going to be a very long intro, but it's going to be a medium-sized intro. And what you're probably going to be wondering is, okay, Nick, hold on a second. Why is this background here? Well, it's because I'm actually recording this video right before the charity stream. So as you're watching this video though right now, you will have already hopefully watched a big part of the charity stream because the charity stream would have ended yesterday. So quickly, I do want to say if you want to check out how much we've managed to raise for Cancer Research UK, the link to the charity page is going to be in the description down below. If you feel inclined or motivated to take part in helping out get rid of a horrible, horrible sickness um, and malady, if you will, as cancer, feel free to donate down below and support. And also the BC Cancer Foundation as well, I'm raising money for, which is uh, a Canadian chapter of a cancer research organization as well. Their link is going to be in the description. So go check them out. Um, so just know that this video recording, the prices that you see in this video recording are all happening as the game has launched in Europe. Now you're watching this and the game's been out for the full weekend. It's been out for four or five days. So the prices and the ranges and all that stuff may be a little bit different than they are now. Now, but this will all make sense to you and I just wanted to spend essentially a lot of time in this video we will do a squad builder a nice squad builder and we will get a lot of games that'll be happening as always through the like mid part uh, to tail end of the video but I will give you guys a lot of that content that you love from the poor man road to glory I just wanted to make sure because there's so much talk and hype all over Twitter about the hashtag PMRTG, the poor man road to glory, the bronze pack method, the squad building method, that people still are confused and not convinced that you can make coins and really good coins and get good players from my trading method. The bronze pack method we've been doing in the poor man road to glory since FIFA 15. It's just now it's even more valuable to do because you can grind the bronze pack method and then grind the squad builder challenge upgrades to then get good players for pretty much free. And actually not just for free, but while you're making coins and getting free consumables and getting cool kits and getting some players that you may need in other squad builders. So this system is very good. It sounds complicated when I just explain it out verbally, but it isn't. So I'm going to, I'm going to go through showing you guys everything, but I also just want to say if there's anything in this video that doesn't cover what you want. I also, because the Poor Man Road to Glory series is a series that I, that hits my YouTube channel and I record for two to three times a week two to three to four to five hours every video. But I do so much more work outside of the scenes because I can do it like while I'm editing a Road to Glory video. I can do it while I'm in a call with the guys. Like me and Nep over the last five days, and this is one more thing I wanna to mention to you guys. Even though there's a Poor Man Road to Glory episode I think two days ago, that video to this video that you see two days later, the actual real life time is about six days. So there was six days in between that video being recorded or five days from that video being recorded to this one. So in six days, I have been grinding the bronze pack method. And I mean grinding. I think I've calculated out that I've opened around six or 700 400 coin bronze packs. Now a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, that's a hell of a lot of coins. Yes. But the only reason I've been able to open six or 700 uh, bronze contracts is because for every con or for every bronze packs, for every pack that I open, I'm able to make money or at least break even. So that's why a lot of people look at that and think, oh my God, that's 400,000 coins. Yeah, but the reason it's 400,000 coins is because I earned those 400,000 coins while opening the bronze packs, if that makes sense, selling fitnesses. Either way, you're gonna see all of that. But what I do wanna say though is, 
I've spent so much time grinding it outside of this episode. Now, I want to show you guys the system that I use, opening the bronze packs, doing the silver upgrade, the gold upgrade, then, then to the rare gold upgrade. I'm going to show you guys all that live right now and walk you through exactly how I do things so that hopefully you guys can replicate it. And yes, this might bring down the profits of the bronze pack method for me from here on in, but I don't care. If, if, if I make a few hundred coins less on some players and some consumables because all of you guys are now doing the same system that I'm doing that makes me coins, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I have made a lot of coins. I've, 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 I've generated a lot of players already in like a week, a week and a bit. So I'm not too upset if my, my trading method and really Nep's trading method as well, because we both do the same thing. We, we basically bounce ideas off of each other on how to most efficiently open bronze packs and all that stuff. So over the last six days, I've been in a call at, like every night with Nep for like two or three or four or five or six hours where we literally sit there and chit chat with all the other YouTubers as well. But as me and Nep are opening bronze packs and it's uncanny once you get in a system of opening bronze packs, for example, last night, I wish I could record all this stuff for you guys, but it just, there'd be too much content. I wouldn't even know how to edit it down for you guys. But for example, last night, there was a 20 minute span where every pack or every other pack, I was getting an MLS or a Liga NOS or a Squad Fitness or multiple healing cards in every single pack. I don't know what it was last night, but the pack luck for like the really expensive bronze cards was crazy. Sometimes it isn't. And you're gonna see that today. Sometimes you can open some packs and you get one MLS player, one Liga NOS player in 10 packs. So it all averages out and it really is the law of averages with the bronze pack method. You need to just spend time um, and eventually you start making profit, well, making profit and breaking even and all that stuff. So let's get into the video. I have no idea how far we are into the recording right now, but let's get into it. The first thing I want to say though is, again, if this video doesn't cover exactly everything that you want, I have a full documentation of everything I do on Twitter. Now, I do spam my Twitter feed with a lot of the poor man Road to Glory stuff, but I do that so I have like a database of stuff and conversations with you guys that I can go back and reference and look at. Oh, look at all my pack pulls. Look at all the squad builder challenges I've done. Look at like my other viewers and what they're doing in their poor man Road to Glory. So if you want to do that and search through my basically documentation of responding to people, talking to people, tweeting out my poor man Road to Glory, all my profits and stuff, it's the hashtag, as you can see here, PMRTG. You can search that and you can literally go through a full catalog and a full list of myself and other people tweeting back and forth how we're doing, how the bronze pack method is working for us, how it's working for them. Like this guy, Squad Builder Challenge Gold 2 Rare Player Upgrade that he got, and I've actually done this calculation um, that I wanted to talk to you guys about. To get yourself a 2 Rare Player Pack, you need to open, on average, because sometimes you get a lot of bronze players in a bronze pack, sometimes you get like 3. So on average, you need to open 80 to 95 bronze packs. So you need a, about 200 to 250 bronze players to trade up, trade up, trade up, to get yourself a 2 non-rare player pack. Now you would be surprised at how quickly you can open 70 to 95 bronze packs and like a little bit of work while you're making money opening these bronze packs and you can get yourself a striker Alexis Sanchez. Now I've worked my ass off for this episode. I have a lot of free packs to open for you guys. It's going to be a very exciting episode, but I just wanted to like make sure I got everything organized and talked about for you guys before we got into the episode. So it's explained and let me break this down. I've actually, now this is, this is classic Nick 2018 math, but this is me breaking down the amount of players in bronzes, how many bronzes you need to open to get a silver, two players, how many total you need to open to get yourself a gold, etc. So essentially, with an average of three bronze players in a bronze pack, you need four packs to get a silver, uh, to get a silver unlock, okay? So you need essentially four bronze packs to get all the bronze players in to get a silver two player uh, pack, which then gives you two players. So you need that six times over to get yourself a starting 11, which then lets you upgrade to the three non-rare golds, okay? So hopefully you're following there. And then you need four of the golds to get yourself the two rare player pack. So through that process, you basically need about 95 packs. That's, that's essentially 95 bronze packs. So that's the mass, the mass, the math all explained out for you guys. You can literally freeze frame it here if you kind of want to look through it a little bit more. But that explains out the process for you and how rigorous it can end up being. But you'll see how profitable it is, okay? So, um, yeah, like if you want, just search the hashtag poor man road to glory. I literally tweet out everything I do when people tweet me and I give them replies and examples and, and ideas of what I'm doing. It's all there. I quote retweet it. Like some people are making like tens of thousands of coins right now. This guy, 
traded up 11 garbage non-rare bronzes that he got from four i repeat four bronze packs okay opening four bronze packs that he probably made profit on and he got in his two rare silver player pack or his two silver player pack ihani hani and nahacho nananana that's an amazing card that now he gets to keep he's obviously untradeable and it would make no sense for you to rinse this type of a player through the upgrade method so you just keep him stage one four packs in this guy gets a card like that without having to spend any money that's the amazing part of the squad builder challenge method and the bronze pack method that myself and nep are doing um so again just to scroll through it again i've I, like last night is another example i was tweeting out like crazy um like my my, my profits and stuff like that again you guys are going to look at the market and see here okay so you could search for this guy simone in and say this guy's 4k coins last night at that moment in time there was one card up for 4k okay so i listed my card based off of that you could go look right now and there may be none of this guy in the market there may be only one guy for 10k there may be a bunch of guys for 2k or a bunch of guys for 1500 so the market varies so don't also look at these and think oh i'm looking at the market right now and there's a bunch of players less or there's a bunch of players more the market shifts and changes with the day with the time and all that stuff so keep that in mind as well but yeah so you can see like as i don't highlight it in the video every single one of my bronze packs because as i've explained i need to open like an average of 70 to 95 bronze packs and my poor man road dealer videos would literally be like five hours long every time of me just opening packs and no one really wants to see that so um that's the first stage that i wanted to talk about go check the hashtag poor man road to glory uh p sorry hashtag pmrtg if you want to check out the full process of what we're doing and now it's time to shift into the actual episode so as of last episode even though you guys saw that two days ago this has now been six days that i've been able to grind up to eighty-two thousand coins now not just that have a look at the store we have 50 free packs in the store now i wish that was 52 rare gold player packs but that would be physically impossible at this point in time i've only had like you know five or six days to generate the, the packs and stuff like that if i had 50 rare player packs i'd have to like let's just say time that by 90 bronze packs there's no way there's enough time for me to open 3,000 bronze packs or whatever or 4,000 bronze packs so i'll show you guys the free packs we're gonna get into opening the free packs actually right now but i did want to walk you guys through the full bronze pack to squad builder challenge method first okay so let me make sure i got the talking points done as well before we get into the full episode um i don't yeah i'm gonna talk i'm gonna show you guys the trade pile as well because i wanted to show you like my trade pile is going to be essentially an example of one session of 30 minutes of opening bronze packs and how it goes for me what players i sell what players i don't sell so again don't look at this trade pile and say this is all the players that you have no this is literally a 30 minute session and i do these sessions all the time rinsing and repeating the bronze pack method but let's just double check the list so um mentioned searching for the poor man road to glory uh bronze pack method mentioned ex and explained we're going to do that very soon squad builder challenge method and explained we're going to do that very soon um one thing i want to recommend before i forget as well is you can even though uh main league bronze players are not selling for crazy money you have a choice to make you can sell pretty much every premier league bronze player some of them sell for like four five six a thousand coins a lot of them sell for 200 to 250 coins but if you're diligent they all sell so one thing i would recommend is as you're doing as you're rinsing through your bronze packs and stuff like that doing the uh squad builder challenge upgrade make sure to keep the main league so keep the Serie A keep the Bundesliga keep La Liga League and doesn't really sell so I wouldn't recommend you even keeping League and you can rinse them through the bronze pack or through the squad builder challenge method uh, and then keep the Premier League those ones you keep and then just sell them on list them up you got to be diligent get the full trade pile as well if you can get a hundred trade pile items even better it allows you to do the bronze pack method even more rinse through um things a lot more and I'm gonna mention to you guys what things sell, what things don't as we do the bronze pack method. But I just wanted to mention, make sure you keep all the main league players because they do sell. And it's kind of a waste to rinse them through the squad builder challenge method. Uh, so I showed you guys the calculation of the bronze pack method to squad builder challenge upgrades. Um, coin unlocks and game grinding as you guys can see a lot of you guys have been spamming my comments as well uh telling me like hey nick oh my god nep has a hundred thousand coins now nep has one hundred fifty thousand coins as of last episode we only had what forty thousand or something like that um so like you guys are saying oh you're not doing good or not doing whatever it's because i've been and this is the difference between me and nep nep has been well he's also been trading doing very very well trading but you got to understand that nep has been spamming a lot of games he went through the offline uh season 
seasons all the way up to division seven because he was thinking that there was this like uh glitch where you get 15,000 coins offline and a fut champions award to get into the fut champions tournament turns out that didn't work and stuff like that so he's been playing a lot of games and myself and net both we have 50 plus games right now with a thousand coin unlock bonuses per game so just by playing 20 30 games nep has generated 30 40 50 000 coins now that's one thing second thing is up until this episode that you guys are seeing now i was just grinding the bronze pack method and breaking even and stuff like that but in between six days ago and now the liga nos and mls players have skyrocketed in price because everyone's playing the game and everyone wants these cards now i mean I'm, i don't need to show you guys this again we've already talked about it but like everybody wants that jonas on my main account on the squad builder challenge you're going to see me unlocking the jonas you're going to see me unlocking the geovinko and now that everybody has the game everybody can grind games to get more coins so slowly but surely these league and players that were selling for two three four five hundred coins a thousand coins over the last five days of me recording my last video are selling for like 5,000 coins. Some bronze and silver players are selling for 10,000 coins. I haven't been lucky enough to hit any of the big 10,000 coin ones, but consistently now, since last recording, I've been hitting the 3,000 coin value players, the four, 5,000 coin value players, and sometimes you just get lucky. If it's a certain time of night, even though you get a player that may be selling for 1,000 or 2,000 coins during the day, you list yours up in the nighttime when there's none up, Someone's trying to finish a squad builder challenge of one of the Liga NOS teams. They have one player left and it's the player that you have listed. A lot of people have a lot of coins, so they just go buy your card for 7,000, even though a couple of hours ago, they may have been able to buy them for 1,000 coins. So this is where right now, from here until I think, sorry, let me just go back and check. I think we've got another, like, as of this recording, we have another 15 days for the squad builder challenge upgrades, which we're going to grind. So the next two weeks of the poor man road to glory, you're going to see me, I hope, this episode, we get a lot of free packs to open. But after this episode is done, it's literally going to be two days until I upload the next episode instead of six days, right? Remember the time differences. So for the next episode, my goal is to grind the bronze pack method. So I just have two rare player packs to show you guys at the beginning of every episode. I think that's like a really cool thing that I want to try and do at least until the 15 days of the squad builder challenge upgrades is gone. And honestly, don't hold up on doing this upgrade stuff do it now because i think when the 15 days is up i really don't think ea is going to bring these squad builder challenge upgrade challenges back because they make so much coins they really do like again go through the poor man road to glory hashtag people have packed messi ronaldo amazing cards a guy packed vidal and thomas the mule in his two player rares in one pack from from opening 90 bronze packs essentially he got the mule and and vidal a guy got messy from opening 90 bronze packs and making profit so i really don't think EA is going to keep these here for a long time because they're just so profitable uh, i really think they're going to look at that and say well we kind of want people to spend money on fifa points so they might just never bring it back make sure you start getting into that stuff those are the two players we got from last episode untradeable players as well um so okay first things first i do want to show you guys the trade pile so this is kind of on average uh the type of money that i'm making right now uh player healing sell for crazy money they sell for even more now uh than they did last night because it's right now i'm recording at let me just tell you guys the exact time in the uk i'm recording at 4 30 p.m in the uk right now so the, and and 5 30 p.m in europe so this is a really really busy time of people playing the game so the bronze pack method should really start generating coins for us a little bit later in this episode but squad training is like got unlucky that one should have sold for 700 a, pl a random player healing sold for 750 you get two or three of these in every bronze pack or every other bronze pack so it's literally like you're producing coins right now without having to do much i realize now that there could be a hundred thousand of you guys trying to do this and it might bring the prices down a little bit but i think we're all okay right i think we're all okay to share uh my trading methods to hopefully help a hundred thousand of you guys make coins as well i i'm ma i'm making coins so i'm fine i'm not too worried if you guys start profiting from this as well this see crazy and this one sells for 250 so that guy just made 500 coins profit right there this one went for 600 so again simon in was selling for 4k listed mine up for 3800 boom he was gone this guy again also don't just try and sell bronze players that are in liga nos this is another thing that i get from people tweeted all the time saying nick but i don't i don't get a lot of mls or liga nos players you know what to be fair per capita I don't as well. Some packs, I get a lot of them. Then I could go 10 packs and get no Liga Nos, no MLS players. But any player that looks half decent or is rare 
if you have the time and your patient will sell this guy there's a bunch of him up for 600 to a thousand i thought you know what he doesn't look that great i'll toss him up for 350 uh for an hour a couple of people bid on him and then he sold for 350 it was half the price so why not and all of this stuff as well for the people that say oh my viewers buy my cards all of this stuff i've done off of stream and this video today we're doing off of stream as well we're just recording it for youtube so when i do the bronze pack method and list stuff up you guys are going to see i guess live things that are selling and for how much they sell for and stuff so this will really help explain everything out for you okay i just want to show you guys again this guy ridiculous like open one bronze pack and you get 4500 coins and i think i sold myself short this guy instantly sold there was a whole bunch up for like eight or nine k and i just thought that's a crazy price let me list them up for cheaper and he instantly sold so i may have shortchanged myself by two or three thousand coins but hey that's life uh d -op. so again some of these guys that aren't even part of uh, the systems as well right like like bundesliga uh premier league all these players do sell you just got to be diligent now um sometimes you get lucky with the bronze mls goalkeepers i feel like those are the ones that sell for uh the least but now they're starting to go up in price as well because a lot of these squad builder challenges you may just need any type of mls player from that team so someone will go and find the cheapest uh item from that team which is usually the goalkeepers and buy them which now everybody is doing so even the goalkeepers are starting to go up in price it's it's just amazing to me the type of money that can be made with this system and still people do not think that it generates coins again this guy i shortchanged myself again but i'm happy i did i sold them for 5500 so what if other cards are up for eight or nine thousand coins I got 5,500. Again, go check the market right now and see how much this guy's going for. I'd love to see in the comments you guys saying, hey, Nick, at this time of day, now this is what this player is going for. Remember, I'm recording this video on September 29th. You guys are seeing it on Monday, right? Uh, the Monday. I can't even. What, what day is the Monday? Let me see. What day is the poor man wrote to glory this video gonna drop for you guys monday is october 3rd so that is literally five days later this guy's price could have plummeted because uh, you know so many people are doing this method with net releasing videos as well or this guy's price could i'd be very interested to see what this guy's price is right now as of you watching the video because his price could either have plummeted or his price could have skyrocketed to ten thousand coins because everybody wants those jonas cards so everybody's trying to buy all of these um all of these bronze and silver cards and not many people are doing the bronze pack method in terms of how many people play the game yes my viewers hopefully are doing the bronze pack method but i think we are at a very very big advantage right now over the rest of the community because i don't think many people other than me and nep and maybe baits in a little bit are talking about the bronze pack method so anyways i'll scroll through these and show you guys this is basically the best items that i've got this guy was amazing as well i couldn't believe it i got him in a bronze pack and i tweeted it as well i have a picture of me getting him in a bronze pack and everything so go check out the hashtag poor man road to glory so let me uh sorry hashtag pmrtg that's where you see all the poor man road to glory stuff on my twitter uh being documented so first things first let's show you guys the system so we're gonna start off this is uh yeah you are probably 20 minutes into the video but i needed to get all of that like um stuff out of the way and all the explanations out of the way so that the series can go forward and all of my viewers understand bit by bit how we're making coins how we're generating everything and how we're profiting right so i needed to show you guys that but this is the this is the uh this is the goody stuff now don't worry you will see the uh the rare packs and and, and all of that stuff but i really did want to show you guys uh the process so i'm just going to skip through these we'll open maybe like 10 of them and i'm going to walk you guys through kind of what sells what doesn't sell so for example right here the Serie A and the Premier League player, these guys will sell. Again, he's got a couple of cards up, right, for 200. I'll list mine up for 200. Might have to list them up for a couple of times, but he will sell. Same thing with the... I'm actually surprised that I got two main league players right away. This guy will probably be 200 coins. Holy sh... Okay. Only a couple up for 200, so this guy will sell for sure. And now more than ever at the start of fifa the bronze pack method is even better not just because of the squad builder challenges but because everyone's starting the game there's literally millions of users starting the game one guy may have 3,000 coins he tried to build a Serie A team but he just can't afford even 400 coins to buy a gold he'll just go on the market search for a Serie A player for 200 coins and our bronze player that we just listed might come up he'll buy him use him for a couple of games until he can afford getting a gold player and then bring in the gold player so the system is amazing and I, I hope you guys are really starting to see um just how profitable it can be so all of this stuff another thing that I want to talk about the bronze pack i've opened as you guys will see through the through the store and stuff like that like six or seven maybe even 750 bronze packs now i have an infinite amount of gold contracts i have an infinite amount of fitnesses which i will sell at a later date i'm going to explain that to you guys a little bit more once we get a fitness card but stuff that you don't need 
I would just discard. Like, I, I know that you guys probably saw in there that I have some, like, uh, 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 kits and all that stuff. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discard all of them out as well. Is this... Okay, so this is Calcio B. I don't know if this guy's going to sell. He is a rare card, so I'm going to have a quick look here. Well, there you go. Oh, I should probably double check what that third one is. 450! Amazing! So we'll toss... I didn't... I honestly didn't think this guy would sell. I guess because he's Italian, so maybe main nationalities as well sell. This guy will not sell, so not going to be worth listing. Uh, Dortmund, Bundesliga players should... S oh my god. Look at this. It's like just creating coins right now. Just generating coins. So there we go. That's 200 coins. So there's actually profit made already. So this guy will store for rinsing him through the, um, the squad builder challenges. Uh... Fitness card, another great example. This fitness card will sell consistently for 200 coins, but not right now. At the start of the game, everyone's opening gold packs, so they can buy gold fitnesses for 200 coins or get gold fitnesses for super cheap. Currently, I think over the next week or two, these will start selling, but right now, just store them in your club. There's no point. And same thing, rare contracts, rare contracts, rare bronze contracts sell for 200 coins as well. If you list them up, they will all sell over time. But right now, store them. Don't discard them, store them for a later date. I've probably got 20 to 30,000 coins in fitnesses and rare bronze contracts in my club to sell next week or the week after. Maybe when the squad builder challenges are done, we'll build up our coins by selling all of those off. Uh, dribbling uh, attributes and stuff like that, I keep the bonuses. I'm not entirely sure why. I don't think I'll even use them, but maybe in like a clutch FUT Champions game where I need one more win to get like a big pack, I can use the, uh, the unlock or the, uh, the dribbling boost or whatever on a couple of players. So right here. So now these two players will just put into the club for the squad builder challenge uh, upgrades. And this thing is going to sell, I think, for two or three hundred coins. I'm not unbelievable. So the, the pack is paid for just from this. And uh, like, I'm showing you guys for all the people that just endlessly tweet me saying, like, dude, the, I don't make money on this. I'm doing all of this live to show you that you can. So please just take the time and list things up. I got a 200 coin unlock. So right there, we're in profit. We just made 300 coins right there. And we didn't get an MLS player. We didn't get anything crazy in that. So once you hit an MLS player or Liga NOS player, that's when you really start making the coins. So this is pack number three, I believe. There you go. We got, oh my Lord. So this is what I was saying. On average, you need to open 90 bronze packs to get the two gold player upgrades, but that's based off of an average of getting three um, bronzes in a pack. I got a silver and six bronzes in this pack. So that's why sometimes you end up opening only 70 bronze packs to get yourself the two rare players. So for all those people doing the calculation saying, wow, you're opening a lot of bronze packs, sometimes I have to open, open more uh, than less. Now let's check this Leipert guy and see how much he goes for. Um, and I remind you that I'm not recording this live. So my users are not going to be buying these cards. Uh, 550... 450 so i don't think he's gonna go for like 450 but he's 81 pace so i think i should be able to get 350 coins out of him so he's calcio b but he's italy so i might might spend the time just to see how much i'll list him up for 200 coins this is a card i think i either i'm not gonna sell i'll have to relist a whole bunch so let's store all of these guys in the club there's five more players to toss into the club uh discard that all right let's open number four so that pack wasn't the greatest right we only basically need 250 coins profit out of it oh my god i got so excited i thought i thought that was an mls player oh baby okay so this one is actually not that great and you're gonna get packs like this you just are going to get packs like this it's the way that it is again it's a it's a law of averages sometimes you make a lot of coins sometimes you make a little bit of coins sometimes you make barely the 400 coins that you spent over the back, sometimes you lose a little bit of coins. It's fine. Like, we built up 80,000 coins. It's okay to lose a little bit of coins here and there. So, there you go. We lost 360 coins on that pack. That's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. So, this is pack number... I've already lost track of how many packs we've opened. I think pack number five. And as you can see, if I wasn't talking here, um, Bundesliga, I'd be rinsing through these packs a hell of a lot quicker. So, let's see how much he's going for. Okay. He'll sell for 200. He will 100% sell for 200. Sorry, Leeds. You're still gonna get rinsed through the uh, the squad builder challenges, and I'm probably gonna start like abbreviating it on Twitter. I abbreviate the bronze pack method as BPM, and the squad builder challenge method I now just abbreviate it on Twitter as SBC. I might start doing that on this series. So if you see people in the comments saying, "What the hell is BPM?" Just tell them it's a bronze pack method. Uh, if you see people in the in the comments saying, "What the hell is SBC?" Why does he always say that? What is he saying? Just tell them it's the squad builder challenge method. 
um, just might make it a bit easier. Okay, so Clark, he's got a good amount of pace for an Englishman, so he might sell for a little bit. All right, he will sell for 200 over time, so that I'm fine with that. These two players aren't going to sell. And then the nice thing, again, is you can store the managers that give you bonuses and all that stuff. Just store them all. Uh, the leg healing, I think this is going to be a couple hundred coins at least. 350. All right, so we'll toss this one up for 250 and see if it goes, but there you go. We're already in profit for the pack, and with the discards, we made, like, what, 100, 150, 200 coins off of that pack. So we've already made back the money, almost, of the other pack that we discarded and didn't make money on. Um... Come on, come on, give me a Liga. Give me a Liga Nos, give me an MLS player. Eh, this guy looks okay. Toss him up maybe as well. There's a few, only a few of them up for 200, but this one might be a tough one to sell. We'll list him up anyways and see if he goes. Uh, ooh, I like that kit. I'm gonna keep that kit. That's another thing too, is kits do sell. That one probably won't sell because it's not that crazy, but some of the Saudi League kits sell for crazy coins. And again, go search the hashtag PMRTG. I sold a whole bunch of Saudi kits from anywhere from three to 400 coins to a couple thousand coins. There we go. Okay, so there's a bit of profit right there. Um, this guy will probably be 200 though. He's Liga. There's no way he's going to sell for 550. So I'll, I'll toss this guy up for like 350. If he sells, great. If he doesn't, although he does have 71 dribbling as well. Okay, I might have, uh, I might have, I might have shortchanged myself there. Uh, Wood, 700, 250, 200. Okay, so he will sell. He's in the Premier League, so 100% he's going to sell. Toss him up. So there's profit on the pack. We'll keep the defending. Uh, discard the pack. So there you go. That was what about 100. 150 or 170 profit on that pack and again like i said it's just a system that i use to get the bronze players to put through the squad builder challenges but then you also make profit so really i'm doing this to to put these players in uh my club to rinse through the squad builder challenge method but i'm also making coins or breaking even at the same time so there you go we've actually just made good profit right there i think this will probably sell there you go so we'll list it up for 400 right now and it should sell that's not bad with the discard we're in 50 coins profit right there while also getting three bronze players to put in the squad builder challenge so i'm gonna open a couple more if we get an mls player we do if we don't we don't there you go okay this guy's got to sell so that's good fitness card will sell as well it won't sell right now though so we'll start what the hell oh my now that's 750 right so why don't i actually list mine up for cheaper than what that card can even be bid on and someone might try and pick this guy up so that's good there's profit there. This is technically 900 coins when I sell that fitness. So, so 950 coins from that pack. So we made 550 coins profit, hopefully off that pack. We'll see if that Scottish player sells. Come on, give me an MLS or Liga Nos player. Come on. Right, we're going through the dry spell right now. This Englishman, I'm gonna double check, but I think it's gonna be hard for this guy to sell. There's only three of him on the market. So we'll toss him up. Maybe we'll get lucky if someone's just looking for a random, random Englishman to sell. These guys will keep, wow, that guy what a beard that guy looks i hope i look like that when i'm older man that guy looks awesome uh store that and then all this stuff we can discard perfect so i'm gonna go through my club and discard all the other crap that i've kept like the the, the kits that don't look good the goal for me is to have this club so slim and trim that i just have really good looking kits or kits that i've unlocked from the ea challenges here we go oh please tell me that's uh one of the saudi kits that sells for a lot please tell me that's one of the saudi kits that sells for a lot i think this guy's gonna be 200. 250 so you know what i'm actually going to toss mine up for 250 as well in hopes that it sells uh if not if it doesn't sell even for 150 coins never discard the silver players that you also get in these in these uh packs because after a couple of times if they're not even selling for 150 coin bids put them in your club and then you've got yourself technically having two silver players means that you've saved yourself from opening four more bronze packs right because you open four bronze packs to get the players to get yourself two silvers. Now, through the bronze pack method, I've already jumped ahead in the squad builder challenge method by four or five or six bronze packs or whatever, right? Come on, baby. We'll have a look, but I really don't think, I don't think this is a kit that sells. And if it doesn't sell, it looks cool enough to the point where I might just keep it in the club. 300, 200, uh, I'll listen up for 200, hope that it sells a couple of times. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in my club because I do have a couple of kits that I really enjoy. Okay, so I think we're past the half hour, hour mark right now. So let's start getting into the good, the nitty gritty, the most wanted part of my episodes where I'm opening these packs. I really did want to get a Liga Nos or MLS player, but hey, you know what? This part has actually proved that you can go blank for 10 packs and still make profit a little bit or break even on your bronze packs and get all the players you need for the squad builder challenges. So this guy might sell, but right here, I technically have broken even. This contract will sell for 200 coins. This fitness will sell for 200 coins over time. 
and then we've actually actually made profit so we've made 71 coins profit right there on a pack that we didn't even get a Liga Nos or MLS player so I'm gonna try and rinse through a couple more and just see if we can get lucky with this MLS stuff come on EA see like I, I'm just getting players though like I'm getting actually decent players only I'm tempted you know what let's see if this works there's only one up for sale for 200 the rest are 10,000 and one for a thousand let's see if this i used to do this last year and people used to get mad at me because i would actually make coin profit on it so let me let me toss one up for 400 start and i'll actually toss this one up for 400 buy it now let's see if someone uh, if they're looking for a player to fit that role if they end up buying mine instead of the one that's up for a thousand or ten thousand so there we go a little bit of trading as well that i used to do a lot more last year when the squad builder challenges didn't exist to make coins in the bronze pack method i'm gonna do two more bronze packs then we're gonna go open all of our free packs all right so here's one there you go there's 400 coins made right there later though they don't sell right now maybe maybe as you guys are watching this video the contracts and the and the fitness cards sell again remember i'm recording this a lot of days in advance um, so maybe by next episode, we'll start rinsing out the, uh, the fitness and the contracts from the club here. Come on, baby. Okay. So this is actually one of the first packs in a while that I really don't think we're going to even make money on. I mean, there's endless amounts of this guy for sale. So we're just going to toss all these guys into the club for the squad builder challenges discarded. So yeah, we lost 300 and what was that? 76 coins on the pack. Last one right here. And let's go open the packs boys. The free packs. What free packs do we have? Let's go, boys. And we got an MLS player on quote unquote the last bronze pack that I wanted to open. So I think we did 11. So it took me 11 bronze packs to get an MLS player. The question is, please let this guy sell for like 500. Ah, uh, you jerks. 500 coins. Okay. So that's not bad. 450, but it's about to expire. So let's see. 450 is the cheapest. 400. 350 okay not great but hey i'll take the 300 coins there that's fine and uh you know what even though we just packed an mls player i think we're gonna not even make profit so what was it 300 so we actually lost even packing an mls player there there you go sometimes you don't even make profit packing an mls player it's better to get the consumables sometimes all right so uh there you go already two items have sold and again i'm doing this offline look you see what i'm saying I'm doing this stuff offline and these things all sell over time boys incredible so let me clear those things out as well uh make sure we have space in the trade pile and let's get into it so again i've been grinding this method getting us close to a few things now this is gonna spoil something for people that know about a certain system in the game i don't want to talk about it because next episode is going to be super exciting as well we are going to unlock um, a amazing player that's gonna help out the poor man road to glory okay and, and I'm really 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 excited about it I just don't want to talk about it too much we will we'll do that next episode okay because there's just there's gonna be too much going on in this episode if we also do this unlock well the picture of the player is kind of giving it up as it is but so we've got a whole bunch of bronze gift packs that was from the last six days of the web app and stuff like that and me opening bronze packs sometimes you open bronze packs and you get a free bronze pack in a bronze pack which these three are so over the last six days, six days, six days, wow, awkward, uh, six days, I've gotten three unlockable bro bronze packs in the, bro I got basically bronze pack accepted, if you will, Incep inception in terms of the bronze packs, but here you go. So I've worked my ass off over the last six days to get us five rare player packs. So on average of let's say 70 to 90 bronze packs, I've opened just so you can see even here. 400 bronze packs to get us to this point on average not to mention then getting ourselves these two two silver player packs these are from the bronze packs upgrades okay so getting myself to these as well is probably going to be another what was it again it was four bronze packs to get to here i have a bunch of these so i think i've got like 20 of these or something like that so that's another 30 or 40 bronze packs to get to here and then over there as well deeper into it we have um some more gold so i'm gonna open all of the bronzes i'm gonna open a bunch of these silvers right now just so you guys can see the process so let's get through these and then we'll really get to the end of the video or no because i, I need to build a squad and stuff like that so in probably 10 or 15 minutes we're also going to open up the um open up you know what i'm not going to sell these right now i'm just going to store these in the club because you guys have been waiting long enough for me to get through some of these really really cool packs so here you go from a free pack we made 200 coins plus pay, 279 coins so that's not bad uh i'm not gonna open the loan ones okay the loan ones i'm gonna save for next episode those will go in tune with 
um, the player that we're gonna unlock. So here we go, store all this. Unless I get, okay, so this guy's gonna be rinsed through the bronze pack method, although I probably should try and sell him. Um, yeah, let's try and sell this guy for 200. Oops, try and sell him for 200 points. Discard the rest. So we'll open, I don't know, maybe like five or six of the, okay, just make sure you don't open the loan, Nick. Skip that one. Oh, I just, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like, this is the really fun part of the Poor Man Road to Glory for me. Like, the start of the game, the, when, when players and prices and packs and everything are just really worthwhile opening. And again, go back. If you think that this is, like, crazy that the bronze pack method works right now, it's it works incredibly well. But go back to even watch episode one, two, three, or 4 of the Poor Man Road to Glory from FIFA 16 or the Poor Man Road to Glory from FIFA 15, and I was doing the bronze pack method back then and making coins back then. So now with the squad builder challenges, it's even more worthwhile, but we were making coins back then as well, just so you guys know. Um, this is a, the bronze pack method is a system that it's not like myself or Nep invented this year. I've been doing it for two or three years and I think Nep was doing it as well last year. Um, I don't know why I stored that, that kit, but anyways, whatever, it's, or that, uh, that consumable. All right, so here we go, bronze gift pack. It's gonna get a little bit annoying though that I have to skip past the lone players every time I wanna open a pack, but what are you gonna do? So we'll store all that stuff. All right, here we go, boys. Silvers, and then maybe I'll open a couple of golds as well. But I did want to show you guys this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Imagine I open one of those right away. So let's open. I should have. I should probably let these open to see if we get, like, a good rare player. So there you go. This is the nice thing. Now, this guy is from the Bundesliga, but he doesn't look that great. So this is these, these cards are untradeable to show you. I'm going to rinse this guy through the, through, the, through the silver squad builder challenge method upgrade, whatever you want to call it, because it's not a player that I'm necessarily going to want to use. But silver players that look half decent, because they're untradeable, sometimes it's worth actually keeping in your club for a later date for other squad builder challenges. For example, a lot of these silver packs, I'll get an MLS or I'll get a Liga Nos player. Those ones do not rinse through the squad. Uh, so these ones I'll rinse through the silver squad builder challenge upgrades. But the Liga Nos players, keep them for the MLS unlocks, okay? Make sure you're diligent with what you list and what you keep and what you upgrade and stuff like that. You really gotta think about things because there's a lot of players that may not be worth anything, but they will be useful uh, for upgrades later on for other challenges, not just the squad builder challenge upgrade. I know I'm repeating myself over, but I wanna make sure that you guys really understand the system well, okay? So we haven't hit any good player yet. Uh, I'm just gonna skip these, I think. Uh, so that's for the Super League. He looks okay, but he's probably someone that I'm just going to rinse through as well. Uh, okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We'll open, I don't know. I would say 10 silvers to just give you guys an example. So again, this guy looks, you know, he's like a decent card, but I'm going to rinse through. I'm going to rinse him through the gold upgrade as well, because I don't really, don't really care for him. Don't really need him. Um, all right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me something half decent. Give me an MLS. Oh, so this is painful. This is the part where it starts getting a little bit painful. You start getting uh, quite a few duplicates that are, are are already in your club. So what I would recommend there to avoid having to discard duplicates, uh, I would, as much as you can, open a few silvers and bronzes and stuff like that, but then go do the squad builder challenge so that you get rid of these types of cards so that when you get these cards again, they're not a duplicate, okay? So that hopefully that's another little tip for you guys to help you not do what I had to do just there and discard a player for nothing because that's one player that one player out of so this guy for example looks decent unfortunately i thought that this club was in the Serie A. I was going to say that this might be a dude that would be worth keeping but you know what because he's in calcio b i think i'm going to just rinse him through the process for sure um so we're down to 37 packs yeah you know what i might actually do all of the silvers here then show you guys a squad builder challenge method Ooh, this guy I think we could use in some squads. 73 pace, 76 physical, si sorry, 73 defending, 69 pace, 66 dribbling, 65 passing, 6 foot tall. This might be a card right now that if I want to build a league and team, I just don't need to buy uh, a CDM. So I saved my coins towards buying uh, a better card there. And as you guys can see up top as well, we're at 75,000 coins once we finished opening those packs. We spent 7,000 coins opening those packs. We're already up to 78,000 coins again. Um, now, as you know, none of these earn me coins, right? These are all discardable or players that I, discardable for nothing, or players that I store in the club. So these guys I'm gonna rinse through. They don't look all that great. But just so you know, like this process does pay off. Uh, come on, man, come on. Give me a Ihani Hani Hacho na 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 na, please EA. Uh, okay. So, damn, that is actually a really nice looking card. 
So this is one that I'm going to hum and haw about putting him through the grinder of the squad builder challenge because he is in essentially La Liga beat, like the second league, but he's just a good card. Well, he's not that great of a card. He just has pace, really. So I think I am going to put him through uh, the grinder. And it's funny. It's like, it's like, it's like, this is, it's got like, we've got like Pokemon hints, right? Where you just like put the Pokemons through uh, the grinder to get, what are those candies or whatever those stupid things are. All right. So the golds, uh, I'm going to skip through everything. The only ones that I'm not going to skip through are going to be the rare players. Now, this is a La Liga Santander and he's actually a half decent card. So I might keep this guy. I might keep this guy for now. Main leagues and players that look decent in the main leagues are cards that I am going to keep, I think. Look at this, boys. Let's go. We're just going to rip through these. This is this is, this is is fun for me. For those of you guys that love gameplay and love squad building, I hope that you're able for a few episodes to be able to enjoy this and enjoy the conversations we're having and, and the discussions we're having about um, this system. I really do hope this helps a lot of you guys out. Now, we haven't hit... Oh, damn. Damn. He's in the championship. Basong, if he was in the Premier League, I would have been really, really excited to keep him. But to be fair... Doesn't look that great. He's got okay pace, decent defending for a silver, and good physical, but 42 dribbling, 40, 49 passing is not good. He's also in the championship. He's six foot two medium medium work rate. So this is a type of player where I'm like, do I keep him? I think I might keep him, you know? Because who knows? He might be useful in another squad builder challenge, like not just the one where we want to get those gold player, the, the three gold player uncommon packs. So that might be a guy that we keep. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll make that decision when it comes down to it. So these guys could care less. Uh, they'll go through the squad build, the SBC grinder. There we go. We're going to start calling it the SBC grinder so I can talk quicker. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I thought that was... It's not even Liga Nos. I'm not even getting MLS or Liga Nos players here. I'll show you guys as well. Like, I've, I've grinded the system and I have, I think, about 10 MLS silvers that are untradeable. And, like, maybe five or six uh, league... Uh, I actually sold this guy for a little bit of money. It's too bad he's untradeable. Um, yeah, I, I've 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 gone through this process and gotten a few Liga Nos and a few MLS players and stuff like that as well. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're coming out right now. It's like EA have killed the drop weights. Honestly, I think I feel like I've tweeted this too much, and too many of my viewers have done this even just through my Twitter tweets, Twitter Twitter tweets, so that like, oh, okay. Russian League Pasquato. Is this a silver? Is this one of the beast silvers from FIFA 12? When he was in the Serie A back when like El Sharawi was a five star, five star silver card? That is a nice card. That I am not going to put through the SBC grinder, okay? We are going to keep him. If we ever need to do a squad builder for the Russian League, we'll use that guy. He looks really, really good. So there you go. That technically took me four bronze packs to get that card in my club untradeable. So that's amazing. And I got another player that I can put through the through the system again. Okay. Now, this is in the Serie A, but this guy looks so bad. Like, I realize that he's in the Serie A, but I'm not going to keep him. We'll put him through the SBC grinder. No problem there. People are probably in the comments of this video counting how many times I'm saying SBC grinder or squad builder challenge grinder, I'm sure. League uh, So he looks a little bit better. High, high work rates, but he doesn't have the pace that really is going to make him worthwhile. So we'll we'll get rid of him as well. Upgrade him, essentially. Let's go. So we got 24 packs left. Uh, and as you can see, the main amount of those 50 packs are all from these silver players. So let's say 40 of these packs were the silver packs, which 40 times 4, right? 100, 160? So technically, all of these free packs you saw, it really took me barely 160 packs to get these free packs, okay? So for those of you guys in the comments that aren't even listening to the video and just saw the initial packs that I had and saying, what the hell? How did this cheater get 50 free packs? Insanely easy to get 50, 50 free packs, let me tell you. Uh, okay. Ooh. So a decently paced Colombian. This is a guy that I might keep in, less, in, in case I want to do a squad builder. Maybe with like Mario or something. Or Mario or James. I can use that guy instead of having to buy uh, another expensive, uh, an expensive gold. So that's good. That'll help us save a little bit of money as well. Uh, this guy doesn't look good enough to keep. So we'll get rid of him. We'll get rid of both those players, honestly. Yeah, we'll do, I'm going to open all the silvers, and then we're going to do the squad builder, the SBC method. We're going to do the, the a few bronzes, not a lot of bronzes. We'll do a few bronzes. I'll do this. Uh, essentially, I just want to show you guys the process, but I'll do a lot of this stuff. This guy looks... Oh, he's in Calcio B. Uh, I'm going to get rid of him as well. 
I'm going to show you guys the process, but a lot of the stuff I'm just going to do on the web app and the mobile phone, like when I'm sitting on the couch and stuff like that. So at the start of every episode, as I've mentioned, you guys will get a few of these every episode for me to open. And you don't have to see the boring parts of me grinding through bronze packs and grinding through the, the bronze upgrade, the silver upgrade, the gold upgrade. There it is, boys. Finally, we get an MLS player. So right here, for example, here's a Kansas City player that we don't need this guy i guarantee you probably sells for anywhere from a thousand to five thousand coins on the market slowly through the year i'm going to get more and more and more of these cards from this system that i'm going to put into the club so by the time that mls players and maybe liga nos players aren't expensive in a couple of months i can then look through the liga nos and mls players see what ones i have and then go onto the market and maybe by that time i'll be able to buy all the players i need for like four or five hundred coins so i might get the liga nos uh jonas done the special jonas with all the coins and all the unlocks for like two thousand coins i might make a hundred thousand coins profit off of all those packs and get a jonas for that in a couple of months uh the mls the geovinco and the thirty thousand coins i think it is to unlock that might cost me two or three or four thousand coins in a couple of months to do so hopefully all of this is really starting to make sense you guys now this guy is 92 pace but like I'm just never i'm never gonna use this guy he's 92 pace and nothing else so he's a guy that we'll get rid of for sure let's see how many of these oh baby so there we go there's the finer silver pack and then the rest of them are going to be the three uncommon golds that will open in a little bit okay so here we go so we got one mls player out of out of that so let me just confirm it so these are the lone ones that we don't want to worry about so here are the rares and here these are all just the the uncommon gold packs so let's go do the squad this is going to be another hour-long video isn't it that you guys are just i i honestly like unless it's gonna get unless it's gonna wow i can't speak but this has been a full video right now i haven't edited any of this but unless this is going to be a um two hour long poor man road to glory i don't know if you guys are gonna get a i really don't know if you guys are gonna get a squad builder and gameplay for this video this might be another trading video honestly and then i promise you guys if you smash the like button here if you're looking at the video right now and this video does not have five thousand likes hit the like button if we hit 5,000 likes i will within the next day release another poor man road to glory video for you guys that will have an amazing squad builder trust me on that with a very special card and lots of gameplay for those of you guys that like my squad builders and the gameplay i will do that but make sure if you're looking at the video i know there's thousands of you guys at this point watching the video if you're on your phone or you're on your you know you're on your web browser or whatever if you don't see the 5,000 likes just hit that like come on stick little little tap there help me out okay so let's uh i'll try and do this quickly so we can do a squad builder but we may not get gameplay in this video i i hope that i th this this does help you guys out so let me show you guys the process okay let me show you guys the process so this is the sil this is the, essentially the bronze upgrade process and how i go through it okay so again i just go with bronze i go with any and don't do main leagues remember avoid main leagues so now i'm just gonna go through the championship all right i'm gonna rinse through all of these guys all right look at this boom boom this should take me no less than 30 seconds to get a two uh a silver player upgrade okay boom 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 goalkeeper done shouldn't even have to think about it now watch this okay so we don't have the 40 chem uh yet but we will in seconds boom we've got the 40 chem done what did that actually take me 30 seconds to get the 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 silver player pack you see what i mean once you start getting good at these squad builder challenge upgrades you start rinsing through them okay let me see if i can do this one even quicker so boom go up to the left winger make it bronze go to any go to the championship boom 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 okay so we're at center mid center mid center mid left back center back center back right back now i just gotta go there you go perfect uh goalkeeper wow that did that for me automatically boom i didn't even have to change anything done how easy is that i hope i'm i hope i'm proving the naysayers wrong about this system the bronze pack system to get yourself these silver players to eventually get yourself the rare gold players is a system that works well and once you do it a lot for people that have time on their hands because i'm assuming if you don't spend money on the game you should have a, a good amount of time to at least spend your time on the game to make coins okay that's okay that's what that's what i'm thinking anyways maybe maybe i'm wrong in assuming that uh okay so i think this is all done now so now we just go to the uh to this part none of these players are going to sell for anything so even the rare players i don't really care i've already gone through the system or gone through the process while i was opening packs of selling any player and every player that sells um so there we go this should be a full there you go boom done easy 
Easy, boys. What was that? In a matter of a minute and a half, two minutes, we got three silver players. So we got six silver players. We're already halfway towards working towards that gold three players. And we, we've spent barely two minutes doing it. So what was it? It was the third league. There we go. I'm going to basically do it until we get a full uh, team of silver players that we can then then do the gold unlocks. Okay, that's, that's kind of the process that I want to show you guys here. So center back, center back. The beautiful part about these specific leagues is, is exactly this. Like, you just don't even need to think. Okay, so uh, you got to think a little bit. But boom, there you go. Swap one player around. We're up to the minimum of 40 chem. Uh, okay. Boom, boom, start from scratch, go up. Always start here, and then you rotate through, okay? Here, over here, search. Let's go, baby. Okay, goalkeeper at left wing, that might hurt the chemistry, so I might have to just swap him down to goalkeeper, and we should be, should be Gucci. Boom, 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 boom. All right, swap again, goalkeeper, let's see. Nope, done. How easy was that? So that was what, did we do five? Silver player packs, that's technically 10 silver players. Is that five or was that four? I think that was five. Okay, so let's say this is six. So this gets us the silver upgrade done. Um, here, it was England three. And again, I am going to complete all of this. I'm gonna rinse through my entire club and by next episode, you know what? Honestly, by next episode, we may have, uh, we may have more than two rare players. We, we may have more, honestly. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but we may just have more um okay so is that one is that completed now let me just double check again yeah that's completed so we go to england four boom again none of these guys this guy might sell probably not intelligent for me to put him through the through the sbc grinder because he's worth a little bit but you know what it is it is what it is okay so this one might take a little bit more time never mind one swap and we're good to go beautiful there we go all right in case that was five let me do one more all right let me do one more and uh i'll try and i'll try and just make sure we're doing this fully legit i can't remember if that was five or six it could have been six so we're going england four this should be really really fast though boom boom right wing center mid center mid like you don't even need to think you could be in a call with your buddies like i usually am with nep or bateson or or whoever you could be watching you could genuinely just be watching a tv show make sure obviously you're not doing this in major leagues though because you could literally submit uh, uh uh a paul pogba people have tweeted me that they weren't paying attention and have submitted really really expensive cards for these upgrades don't do that Please use the discardable or free cards that you get in your club. All right, so there it is. That's done. Now let's show you the silver. This silver process might actually take a little bit longer. Well, there you go. So I already have this pre-populated. So actually, this one is, I think, the leftovers, right? So we'll go any. We'll go like, we'll just we'll just look and see what we have here, for example. So boom, center back, done. Um, I might actually just do this. I think we have it already completed. Do we not? <laughs> that took me like, what was, that genuinely took me about what 10 seconds there you go so we got a gold uncommon upgrade let's see how long this takes us from here though this process might be a little bit more uh, involved so we go silvers we go any again avoid the premier league i don't even think do i even have premier league silvers i do wow i have two of them okay so that's great those are players i'll probably use at some point i don't want to trade them up though basong like honestly i'm never going to use these two guys not in a not in a Dutch team, not in a, like, there might be a, a, a championship squad builder challenge, so I may regret giving up these players because, who knows, I might be getting an unlockable, who knows, you know, an unlockable Gale or an unlockable John Joe Shelby that's, you know, some crazy, crazy card or like a top, top goal scorer or something. So I might regret trading up these cards, but honestly, I, I, I just think that the chance to get some really, really good, especially early in FIFA, some really good gold rare players that's going to be the big one here so leak uh i'll double check leak uh but i think most of these i'd like to well uh, are these what's going on here these are all untradeable right so like this guy honestly i don't think i'm going to keep him he's not he's not really going to be a card that's going to look like being worthwhile keeping but this guy and this guy like in a four two three one look like they could be an actually good partnership whether I have to do a silver tournament game or anything. So I'm not, I'm not going to trade those two. Those guys look like they might be dudes I'll set, I'll use. So let's go to League 2. There's nothing. Calcio A. Again, this guy just is crap, really. Let's be real. Uh, you just got to, like, with the silvers and the golds, you just got to, like, 
pay a little bit more attention, you know? Make sure you're not getting rid of anything that's half decent. The bronzes are really, really easy to grind through. These ones take a little bit more time, but still, that's done. Can I... There you go. I can still submit. And what... Even though I spent time humming and hawing and searching through, what did that take me to get the three gold player unlocks? That take me, what, two minutes? Not even? I'm going to do one more, and then... I don't think I have, I've saved all the gold ones for you guys. So uh, I'm going to do one more of these and then we're going to open the, the gold uncommons. Maybe do a couple of these upgrades. Maybe not. I haven't decided yet. Maybe we'll do the uncommons then open the rare silvers because I think we are at an hour recorded now so far. So let's do uh, one more of these and then we'll do the uncommons. So silver, I don't remember where we ended. I think we ended at Calcio A. Was it Calcio A? Let's have a look. Was it Calcio B? It was Calcio B. Okay, so now let's just let's push through this. Bundesliga again. Let's pay attention to this guy. Even though he's rare, he's just not someone I'm ever going to use. So I'm fine to get rid of him. Uh, Bundesliga here. These ones will be a little bit harder to get on cam, I think. I'll have to maybe take a little bit of time. Let's look at La Liga. So this guy looks okay. He's not bad. Especially with a glove chem style, he might be worthwhile using. If he turns out to be garbage, I'll put him through the system again. But for the time being, he looks good enough to keep. Honestly... This guy doesn't look that great. I know he has the pace, but I'm just going to get rid of him. Like, he's, he's really not that special. Uh, so where we're at, center backs are right. Wow, you know what? Even though I was humming and hawing, even with this, I, we still did this quickly. The question is going to be, I don't think we'll get on 40 cam, though. We're th wow, we're already 35 cam. Never mind. This might... 38 cam? Okay. Uh, 46 cam. Ha! You don't need to think putting players in the team. And then once the team is set up, you just move a few players around. Boom, you're done. That took us, uh, I think, a... I think that actually did take me a minute. I have a timer going as well, so I know what we're doing here. So, we now have 28, well, minus the, the lone players. We have 24 of these to open. I'm so excited. Wait, wait, what? Oh, yeah, I thought they were all golds. Okay, so now we're just going to open all the packs, okay? I'm going to skip through the silvers, um, and let's see if we can get something good again. We got a Juventus goalkeeper. Doesn't look that great, but maybe for a squad builder, nah, maybe for a squad builder challenge we can keep him. We'll see. All right, so we'll do the silvers first, then we'll do the uncommon golds, then we'll do the rare players. Five rare players, boys. Michu! Oh, Michu's in, he's in the second league as well. Wow, what a fall from grace for him, hey? At Swansea, and everyone thought he was going to be this god player, so he probably is going to be someone that I trade up. Nice to meet you, and nice to see you, bro. You'll be gone real quick. Okay. Come on, baby. I love this. I love this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I think it was still a very informative, good episode. Uh, those two guys we'll get rid of as well. Not bad. Come on. Let's just finish it off with a half-decent pack pull. We've, we've got a few decent players. We've made a good amount of coins on the bronze pack method and stuff like that. So that's Calcio B. We'll get rid of these guys. Uh, we've got an, uh, uh, an MLS Silver as well out of this, so we've done okay. I'm just hoping we get one decent player in, in one of these gold packs. Uh, so he's in the Bundesliga with 81 pace and a four-star weak foot. Average card though, but this card with a maestro chem style, which does dribbling, shooting, and passing, he might actually be a decent card to use. So I might keep him. I might actually keep him for future squad builders. And the cool thing is, is it, it, for example, next episode, we could do a squad builder with a bunch of these untradeable cards and just test them out. It's early on in FIFA. Like, we're not doing the FUD champions yet. So we can see even from these rare players that we got, like this one I'm not going to keep, uh, but we can see from some of these players that we get, especially the silvers, try them for a few games. If they're good, great. We'll keep them. If they're not good, well, guess what? We just put them through the SBC grinder. We don't, we don't care. Um, Bundesliga 2. This is actually a half-decent half, half decent looking card, but he's Bundesliga 2, so we'll get rid of him. Um, okay, so here we go, boys. Time for golds. Let's go. So, uncommons, I could show you guys them, but they're... Unless we get an inform. You can get an inform in these, by the way, because there are inform uncommon players that count as uncommons. So, these ones, I'm just... I think we're just going to skip through. So let's have a look. Is there any player that's going to help us? No. So these players will put through. There's three players right there. Did I just discard those? Please don't tell me. No, I didn't. Okay. So there's three players right there that we're working towards getting another one of these rare golds. Um, so we're a quarter of the way there just by opening one of them. Right here, quarter of the way again. Any of these players look half decent? He's in the Bundesliga too. These two don't look that great. So those guys I'll put through the system as well. They're untradeable anyways. Uh, so they're not that great. All right. Come on, baby. So we're halfway through getting another two rare player pack. Um, but I might do that. I'll do that for next episode. Klassen! 
So that's actually really good. Klassen is a great card. So he's someone I'm going to keep. Uh, Ver Couture actually looks okay. He's a little bit short, so he might be someone that I get rid of. But Klassen for sure we're keeping. So already we got a good player from opening bronze packs. We got a good gold player that we can use in teams from opening bronze packs and making money. Like trading and making money, we just got a half decent player. Another good player. If this guy was tradable, he would sell for 1,500 coins. But that is a good card as well. Gonna keep him. We'll use him in a Serie A squad builder. Now, we may use him for one episode and then never use him again. And if we never use him again, we'll trade him up in the squad builder challenges. Okay. Three uncommons. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anything good? Kimmich. Kimmich is fantastic. The other two dummies we'll get rid of. Kimmich is gonna stay in the club. Wow. I didn't really realize uh, that even through the uncommon gold players, we can get, like, we can start filling out the club with some half decent uh, players. You're kidding me. The pack luck is amazing right now. This guy is 2,000 coins right now. He might actually even be more, and he's a good card. Give him a, sh uh, 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 well, a dead eye, a sniper, a maestro, a hawk, an engine, a catalyst, and he becomes incredible. So we'll keep him. This guy, no offense, buddy, we'll probably get rid of you. Uh, I'd rather get two rare players, you know, but that other dude is actually someone that I was considering buying for one of my squad builders So this is so fun, man. I hope you guys are liking this I know I've said that a million times over, but I really do hope you guys are gonna enjoy this So there you go. We just got a Liga Nos player. That's fantastic. We'll put him so remember we're not gonna put him through the grinder We'll you will put him into the um into the uh, Liga Nos teams to slowly but surely unlock that Jonas that special Jonas and that special Okay, so Kameni, he looks great. Oh, he's six foot one now. Kameni was always really short, wasn't he? Has, has he grown? Has he actually grown in his 30s or something? Anyways, maybe someone that's worth keeping as well. I'll have to, I'll have to consider that. Uh, also, that right back, Naughton, I think, or whatever, he might be worth keeping as well. This is great. This is great. Uh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, Igalo? An... Igalo looks okay, so if I need a Premier League striker and I don't have the coins, we could keep him. And again, if we if we don't need him, we'll get rid of him. But that's a cool card to have in the club. I think it'd be kind of stupid for me to get rid of him. Uh, he'd be even maybe even be a good super sub to have. Uh, he doesn't look that great, so I'm gonna get rid of probably all three of those guys. We'll do the upgrade for sure. Uh, oh God, I was about to open the rare player. I want to save that for the very end. I want to get through all of these first. I want to save the rare players for the very end. Okay, so all of these guys I'll, I'll uh, put through SBC. Come on, baby. One more. Here we go, boys. So we'll, we'll let this one open finally. To end off the video, I'm going to open five. I just skipped it anyways because I'm dumb. I'm going to open five rare player packs. This guy is actually pretty good as well. He sells for 1,000 or 2,000 coins. Look at that. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Going to keep him for some uh, Bundesliga squad builders as well. Nice. Nice! Okay, boys, so if you're excited and you haven't already, I guess you're not gonna smash the like button, are you? So whatever. You do you, bro! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What are we gonna get? Who's that? Who's that? Virinia! Okay, so that's a really, really good card. Now, it's not anything insane, but I have decent card that I'm definitely not going to put through the system. So the rare players, I, I don't think I'm gonna put through the system. Now, this guy looks okay. He's gonna be hard to link into anything. So you, I'm not gonna upgrade back into the squad builder challenge, but this guy, I might consider it. I know I just went back on my word, but all right. So Vierinha isn't like a game changer, but definitely a decent card. Come on, come on, come on, baby. I could I could well just get complete crap. Layun? Oh, baby. Now Layun is a really good card. We could also put him into the system, into the Liga Nos. So, wow. Uh, Maximovic is as well very good. Now, I don't think I'm going to get myself a Messi or anything like that. Like, some of you guys have been tweeting me from these two-player upgrades. But Layun is actually really good. And with his stats, I kind of don't want to put him through the system. I think I might just use this card. I might use both of these guys. Because this guy is good too. He goes for not a lot. But about 1,500 coins. 2,000 coins right now. And how I know player prices is because I've been opening 450,000 FIFA points worth of packs on my main account. So I've really like, I'm really well versed in player values and stuff. Ah, uh, well this guy's actually good. He's actually good and he's actually worth a few thousand coins as well. 
Nothing crazy, but definitely someone that uh, will get into a squad. And we got Wendell. If any of you guys remember last year in the Poor Man Road to Glory, I love this card. And he is a card that sells for good coins as well. So we get another like three, 4,000 coin valued player in the club that we don't need to buy off the market. So this is great. I love it. I know I'm not hitting anything good, but you know what? If I stay diligent with this, at least for the next two weeks, every episode, I'm going to open two. I'm going to have two or three of these to open for you guys. And we got to hit one big player before EA gets rid of these squad builder challenge upgrades, right? So let's hope. Let's hope. Every episode, Schmelzer is not bad. Now we've got two Bundesliga left backs. I seem to always get left backs. Lovren's okay. Someone, he's got high, high work rates, but someone that I might use. Someone that I might use or who knows. There may be a, a, a squad builder challenge later on for the Premier League um, that are, is going to be worthwhile uh, putting him in. So here we go, boys. This is the end of the video. The final pack. I am sorry if you guys wanted uh, gameplay. You'll get it next episode. 5,000 likes and we get it next episode. Who's that? You penises. We got Dante. Wow. Okay, well, there's the end of the video. Who else did we get in the pack? Not bad. Not bad. Jesus now has to end the video off. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the flip side for episode six or five or four or something like that in two days if we hit the likes. Peace, bros.